Cyber criminals steal over $60 million in phishing scams each year, according to the FBI. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Scammers know people are getting smarter, so they're always getting better and improving their tactics. That's why many phishing emails try to look like they're from a company or person you know and trust. Usually, it looks like it's from an online store, shipping company, bank, credit card company, or social networking site. So the first sign an email could be phishing is that it's unexpected. It's usually something about a suspicious login attempt to your account, a problem with your payment, a government refund, or an invoice for something you didn't buy. Cyber criminals usually try to take advantage of what's happening in the world to make it relevant. So it might be related to something that's in the news, such as COVID, or it might be as simple as using the holiday shopping season to send fake purchase emails when they know you might be doing a lot of online shopping. Cyber criminals often want you to get upset or panic when you get the email, which brings us to the next thing to watch for to spot a phishing email, an emotional reaction. Sometimes it's the threat of releasing private information or even jail time. They know that when you're upset, you're much more likely to do something without stopping to think about it. Cyber criminals are banking on the fact that you wanna stop that purchase you didn't make, report that item you didn't get delivered, or hurry to log in to secure your bank account. If you get an email that makes you wanna take action immediately, stop and look for other signs it could be phishing. For example, look at the email address it's from. If the email address doesn't look like it's from the specific person or business, that's a tip off that it could be phishing. However, sometimes cyber criminals use an email that at first glance looks legitimate, which is especially common with fake shipments or work-related emails. Beware of any work email that has a web address with HR in the title. These emails also usually start with a generic greeting such as dear employee or dear customer. This is usually a sign that the same phishing email went out to a lot of people. If you work or shop somewhere, they probably wouldn't use a generic greeting like this. Beware of any email that has attachments. It's one of the most common ways cyber criminals deliver malware and ransomware. If the email tells you to look at the attachment, be on guard, or look for other signs it could potentially be a phishing email. And if you happen to open the attachment, Never click Enable Macros or Enable Content. That usually launches the malicious code in the background. Similarly, if the email contains a link, be cautious. Simply clicking the link could download and install malicious software. If you can, hover your mouse over the link to see where it's pointing. If the link looks suspicious, this can be a big tip-off that it's phishing. Be extremely cautious if you click the link and it takes you to a login page. Cyber criminals often use this tactic to steal your username and passwords. This used to be a huge tip-off, and if you spot poor spelling or grammar, definitely beware. However, cyber criminals are getting better at what they do, and we're not seeing these sorts of mistakes in phishing emails as much anymore. In general, just try not to hurry before taking action on any email. Read it carefully. Look at who it's from. If it causes you to get upset or nervous, that's a red flag. Before clicking on links or attachments, review them thoroughly to be sure they're legitimate. Unfortunately, unless it's a ransom attack that locks your files and demands a payment, most people don't realize they've fallen for a phishing email. Cyber criminals will use their accounts to steal money or personal information and may use it to try and trick others. That's why it's so important to watch for these signs of phishing be sure to share this information with friends and relatives to help them avoid becoming a victim as well. If this video gave you some ideas about what to watch for when it comes to phishing, check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel to get more tips on becoming security aware and to learn how to avoid becoming a victim.